Great I am, so merciful and so kind. I pray that you repent, that you repent, but it's the time, yo. Who is this that walks on water? Who is this that split the sea? The one that called a holy father. The one who sent his son for me. He said he is a broken heart. He said he loves us all the same. Can you take us out of the dark Can someone please tell me his name? He's the great I am. He's the great I am. Hey, Shalom, brothers and sisters. I'm Brother Quidash from One Nation, One Power. And I want to give all glory, honor, and praise where praise is due to the Most High God. Ahaya Asha Ahaya, which is the great I am that I am, which is written in Exodus chapter 3, verse 13 and 14. And his son, who people call Jesus Christ, his name is Yeshaya, which means deliverer in the Hebrew. And the Rawat Kwidash, which is the Holy Spirit in Hebrew. And I'm just coming to you real quick. I'm coming to show you another video. Um, from another uh, person, um, I really um, was watching this and I just had to uh, put it out there. I'm not trying to steal anybody's videos or anything, but I think that, you know, I come across certain videos and, you know, I want to share it with the public, you know, what the Holy Spirit shows me. And I'm going to let this um, this man explain it, what I'm about to get into. All right, I'm going to go over three scriptures real quick. All right. And this is this guy is he's going to show you the power of the tongue. OK, I know I said it. I know I did a, a teach my last video. It was about the pretty much the same thing, but it was in different things and subject. Excuse me. But I'm going to focus on the power of the tongue on this video. OK, and we're going to go to Proverbs 1821 Proverbs 1821 and it reads death and life death and life death and life death and life you know what death is and you know what life is is in the power of the tongue is what you say death and life are in the power of the tongue okay remember that Death, all right, excuse me, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof, and they that choose to use it uh, in an upright way, okay, they that choose it in an upright way will, 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 will enjoy the fruits of it. Okay, and I'm going to show you this video. I'm going to show you this video, how powerful your words are and how they're using your words against you. You poor of the world, the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay, I'm, sh I'm going to show you how these Jewish people. Okay, because we know that they run the world. Okay, how they're dumbing you down. Okay, I'm going to show you in this video. Got one more scripture. Matthews. 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 Matthews 12 and 37. Matthews 12 and 37. And it reads, For by thy words, for by your words. Remember, we just talked about our tongue, which brings forth words. All right. Thou shalt be justified, and by thy word thou shalt be condemned. Okay, it works both ways. Your words are powerful, brothers and sisters. And this video is going to show you how powerful your words are. Okay, this video is going to show you how these Jewish powers know how powerful your words are, brothers and sisters. Okay? So I'm going to get right into this uh, video. I want to say all praises to be to the Most High God. Ahaya Asha Ahaya by Hashem Yeshaya. 
and the Ruach Kiddush. Enjoy the video. The school system is actually teaching people to be poor. The school system will never teach you about money. The school system was designed to teach you to be an employee or a doctor or a lawyer, a specialist, but never about money. My father was the head of education, PhD, all that stuff. I go home and ask him, I said, why don't we learn about money in school? And he looked at me and says, because the government doesn't let us teach that subject. The government tells us what we can teach and what we can't teach. And I thought that was strange. And I said, but aren't we going to school to learn about money? He says, no, your job is to get a job. Poverty is passed on. It's taught in your families. And middle class is taught in families. And so the people right now who are sitting at home who are struggling financially or worried about money or unhappy, they may be making a lot of money, but unhappy with what they're doing. It was probably taught to you. You know, your super ego was taught, get a job, work hard, or you'll, or you'll never be rich, or the rich are evil, or whatever. And until you change your mindset, Correct. money won't help you, right? Correct. And we see that with people that win the lottery, people that make more money, they still have the same problem. Right. Because they have that poor man's soul. Correct. If you're poor, you'll always be poor. That's really hard for people to understand. Yeah, the money will disappear that fast. Just like most pro athletes, you know, they make millions of dollars and what, 65% are bankrupt five years later? It's because they come from poor families. Now you tell them that, they get very angry at you. It's not, it's the rich fault. You know, it's you guys ripped me off and government ripped me off. But unfortunately, what Mr. Lipton was saying, it's passed down genetically. The moment I pay you, you think like an employee. That's the trap. Entrepreneurs work for free. The moment you accept the paycheck, your brain goes dead. As long as you're hungry, you'll think. You see people say, well, why don't you give the poor money? So the only problem with that is just creates more poor people. Give a man know. a fish, he fishes for the day, or eats for the day. Yeah, you give a man a fish, you get a lot of people who want more fish, you know? But you teach them to fish. But you are the Robin Hood of knowledge because I see you giving this knowledge out and yeah. do, do the rich people cringe and say, don't tell them that, Robin? Yes, yes, yes. Don't tell people what, they, what you know. Right. Keep them poor. Poor will always be amongst us because it starts up here. It's in their words, you know, and the words become flesh. When they say, I can't afford it or I can't do that, they go down. They become what they say. And I meet so many people, I, don't, I can't afford it, you think I made of money? My PhD dad, he says, what do you think I am, made of money? I can't afford that. And my rich dad would say, that's why he's poor. Poor people say, I can't afford it, I can't do that, I don't have time. Because this is an escape. It's an escape, you know what I mean? It's easy to say, I can't afford it. Oh, I'm too tired. Oh, I can't go to the gym. You know, when you, when you could go to the gym, but no, I can't. Truth is, I'm just too lazy to go to the gym. And you play it safe and you don't introduce new right. risks into your life. And right. so I have job security. Right. And your rich dad used to say what instead of I can't afford it? How can I afford it? How can I do that? You know, what would it take or why should I do that? A question opens a mind, a statement closes the mind. See, when you say I can't afford it, your mind shuts down and you become what you say. You know, people say, well, money is not that important to me then if money is not that important to you, money is not important to you. I mean, the, you know what I mean? I don't care about money. The money doesn't care about you. You know, it, the word does become flesh. Or I'll never be rich. Or the favorite one is the rich are greedy. It's the poor that are greedy. You know, if you think about it, because to be rich, you have to give something. You know, you have to, I, I have to produce books and games and I, I purchase real estate, I provide housing provide jobs and all that. That's why I'm rich. But greedy people produce nothing. Oh no, it's the rich that are greedy. And I'm going, hey, sports fans, you know, you point a finger forward, three are printing backwards. Mm. And so as we know, there's a big attitude problem against the rich today. We all have fear. You know, to be truthful, we all have fear. It's just how you deal with it. You know, Einstein said, you know, imagination is more important than knowledge, but knowledge 
empowers imagination. And what most people lack is real business knowledge, like accounting, you know, like debt, like taxes. You got to know that stuff, but they don't teach it in school to anybody. You know, people who are afraid of making mistakes like they teach in school, they don't ever grow. Because spirituality is there's good and there's bad, there's right and there's wrong, there's up and there's down. Most people only want to be right, they only want to be positive. Well, you can't have that, that's not reality. Every time I failed, it was like, good, it's okay, what have I learned? And the average person, the reason they're poor is they haven't failed. You know, they play it so safe, they haven't made any mistakes like they taught in school, that means they don't learn anything. That's why the school system's actually fundamentally corrupt. It's anti-education. And I think what most people do is they let their parents or their friends talk about of life. So afraid of failing, but failing is how we succeed. Our schools punish you for making mistakes. That's why we have so many people who are so afraid of admitting they make mistakes or afraid of failing.